y'all. This is Marley K. Hope y'all are well. Got another interesting story that came across my computer screen. So I felt it was interesting um, because I have a business background. Um, this is one of like the stories that would pique my interest and um, raise my eyebrow because I see these dollar stores popping up all over the place. And it is a sign. If, if you don't know about Dollar Generals, Dollar Trees, and Family Dollars, those stores typically are located in poor and low-income areas. And I live in a rural area now, so we just got a brand new Dollar General, which I found interesting because we had an older one, but it was in an old store that needed a lot of work. So the fact that the economy is terrible, but they decided to build a Dollar General in this town and and they're all over the place, Um, you know, coming in and out of these small counties, they have Dollar Generals. And so it's just really interesting to watch these stores go up. But I want to bring you this story because I want to show you how the business sector, corporate America, already knows that there are going to be a significant number of people who are poor, who won't be able to go in Walmart, who won't be able to go into, uh, you know, name brand retail stores, big, big stores. And so... These dollar stores, family dollars, dollar generals, and dollar trees are positioning themselves all over the country to catch the business that is going to come from all the people who can't afford to shop the way that they used to shop. And so not only are the dollar stores cashing in, Corporations are getting ready to create products that will fit in these stores for those price points for low income folks' price points. So let's get into this story. It came out 17 hours ago. We'll get this on Axios and it will be in the description. Household brands cash in on dollar store dynasty. Major household brands are positioning their products for discount shelves as dollar stores continue to pop up around the nation. The big picture, America's dollar store chain storefronts steadily increased between 2019 and 2023, with more than 34,000 in the U.S. last year, exceeding the total of all McDonald's, Starbucks, Target, and Walmart locations in the country combined per recent stir. A recent study. Dollar stores are one of the fastest growing channels in retail, Global Data Managing Director Neil Saunders told Axios. They're adding loads of stores, are attracting new customers, and seeing their share of wallet rise. And that's because people don't have money to um, waste anymore. And just pe- people, you know, a lot of people lost their jobs during the And, um, you know, wages are not going up or not keeping up with inflation. So people are looking for new ways to supplement, um, you know, the loss from the, the inflation and the dollar stores are picking up that business. So it says weekday visits to Dollar Tree, Family Dollar and Dollar General increased between the first quarter of 2022 and 2023. Um, Placer.ai, which analyzes location intelligence metrics and foot traffic, told Axios. In 2021, nearly half of the new stores that opened in the U.S. were chain dollar stores, a degree of momentum with no parallel in the history of the retail industry, per research published in March from the Institute of Self-Local Reliance. In 2023, Dollar General plans to open another 1,050 stores and Dollar Tree another 650. So let me tell you something. 
If these people are planning to open more dollar stores, that means that they understand, they have intel that there are going to be plenty of poor people who will consume from those stores. And, you know, I've known this for years. So when I see a dollar store um, of any kind, I know there's a significant number of low income people in the area or a county has a high poverty rate. And so you can tell how much poverty is in an area by how by how many dollar stores, dollar trees and dollar generals are in a vicinity or just in the county in general. <clears throat> so it says inflation has been a key reason that many consumers have turned to discount and dollar stores for groceries and essentials. Well, I've been going to the dollar store, honey. I love going through there. I'll browse like I'm at Walmart and just have me a little um, basket and I will shop 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 now you got to watch the stuff that you buy in the dollar store but hey as things get bad and ain't nobody going to be caring you know what's in that stuff it's just what can i afford this is what i need this is what i'm going to buy so um i've used it to buy things to barter with and to stock up on things to give to people who may need stuff like bars of soap um dental floss toothbrushes, toothpaste, stuff like that. Um, even extra stuff like can openers and funnels, just, you know, how general household things that people will be needing but won't have. And you can trade those things. So the dollar store is a good place to go and get stuff like that. How brands are dialing in. Household brands who spoke with Axios are targeting dollar store shelves with everything from razor blades to coffee, peanut butter, and pet food, even if those prices exceed $1. Razor manufacturer Edgewell Personal Care is collaborating with each dollar store retails, retailers, merchant teams, and sometimes customizing products accordingly. Eric O'Toole, president of the company's North America division, told Axios. O'Toole added that millennials, a key consumer target group, also seem to be getting more invested in the channel. So that means millennials are poor, and so they're choosing to go to the dollar store. Or you know, they just learn they, that's the place that they can go to stretch their money. And so they prefer to go there. They're not as vain as other generations. At Dollar General, for example, two different chic classic three blade, three count products are available for five thirty five. Food and beverage manufacturer. The, T the J.M. Smucker Company has noticed consumers purchasing items beyond necessities at discount stores per Reuters. The company, as a result, is looking to bring seasonal flavors of its packaged Dunkin' Donuts to the shelves. When it comes to dollar stores, that means delivering the high quality consumers can trust the variety they desire, and the affordability they expect. Company spokesperson Frank Cirillo told Axios. Kraft Heinz, one of the largest food and beverage companies, is focusing on meal solutions that make the dollar go further. Corey O'Neill, Kraft Heinz chief sales officer, shared with Axios. For example... They've reconstructed Lunchables for discount stores, selling at $1.25. Y'all probably don't want to eat those. They probably got all kinds of poison in them. They are also marketing Taco Tuesday meals with their Taco Bell brand products or Italian night with a classical pasta sauce to, to change the perception that dollar stores only offer a drink and a snack. O'Neill explained. 
Kraft Heinz's distribution has grown 7% across dollar store customers in the past year. That's huge. O'Neill said adding the company has a path to double digit growth by year end. So if they know they're going to have double digit growth by year end, that means this economy is going to fail. I was getting ready to say a bad word. So, <laughs> um, this economy is going to fail or they are they are in the know that a significant number of people are going to lose their jobs. So, um, you know, that's why I wanted to share this because this is one of those um, data points that you should use to, you know, determine what's going on in, in, in the nation. Um, because, again, nobody's really talking about what's really going on. These are things that you can look at going on around you and, and say, okay, this is this is happening. Either they're preparing for poor people or the poor people are already here. The company behind recognizable brands like Silk, Oikos, and International Delight told Axios it has been focusing its portfolio, including yogurt and coffee creamer, on the value channel. Dan Dan One North America expects Dollar General to be one of its fastest growing retail customers this year with an anticipated 40% increase in growth. The International Delight brand has become the exclusive brand coffee creamer available at Dollar General, said Ariel Dalton, Dan One Senior Vice President of Commercial Leadership. Dollar Store Expansion by the numbers, dollar stores were the fastest growing food retailers by household spending from 2008 to 2020, increasing by a lofty 89.7%. That is insane. Uh, dollar Tree, which acquired Family Dollar in 2015. Who in the world? I did not know that. Opened more than 460 stores last year, and Dollar General opened more than a thousand stores, according to May a May report from Placer.ai. Together, Dollar General, I'm sorry, Dollar Tree and Family Dollar have more than 16,000 locations, while Dollar General has more than 19,000 locations. That's a lot of stores. Yes, but. Dollar stores still only represent a small portion of national household food purchases, 2.1% in 2020, according to the Tufts study. While dollar stores play an increasingly prominent role for low-income rural and black communities, not everyone wants the chains around. Oh, they don't want them now, but they're going to be glad to see them in a little bit. There are efforts in communities across the country to restrict the growth of dollar stores for the sake of job creation, economic growth, and food security. So y'all know who don't want the the dollar general stores, the suburban and wealthy people, because they feel as though those stores attract low-income people and cause those people to come into their communities. So they will do anything and everything to keep those people from coming into their communities and um, overrunning them. But these people don't really understand that a significant portion of this country is going to be desolate. Like there's not going to be grocery stores and big box stores because there's not going to be the revenue to, to support them. A 2020 city study on Toledo, Ohio, found that the opening of new Dollar General stores hurt other businesses and potential investment from grocers, per Capital B News. The city passed a moratorium on new discount stores, which expired about a year later, and a new location opened soon after. So... There's another story here, too. It says, go deeper. Dollar General tightens its grip on American retail. So this is just a um, a metric or a data point for you to understand how 
poor, people are going to be, people are not going to have money to go to the grocery store. They're not going to have money to go to Walmart. You're not going to be going to Publix. You're going to be getting what you can get. And if they're going to give people universal basic incomes, that's going to be like SNAP benefits or TANF. So you're not going to have a whole lot of money and you're going to need to make your money stretch. So people are more likely going to go to dollar stores before they go anyplace else. So keep this in mind, people. Um, Continue to plan and prep, but watch out for those dollar stores in your community popping up and understand when you see them, it is a bellwether. Please like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Also subscribe to my Rumble and Odyssey channels in the event this channel is taken down. Consider supporting the channel. We do this for a labor of love. We do not get paid and we do not have any affiliate programs. We're not affiliated with anyone. Our um, links are in the description. A link for this story will be in the description and... Um, you know, I just want you to continue to prepare, continue to prep, continue to pray, continue to seek the most high and understand biblical prophecy is being fulfilled right before our eyes. So if you keep watch, if you understand what's happening and if you prepare, you'll be OK. The most high got us. It's not going to be easy, but the fact that you can see, the fact that you're here says something. So continue to work until we can't work because the hour is coming where no man will be able to do any work. Don't be caught off guard and unaware. Keep your oil in your lamp, people. Love y'all. This is Marley Kay and I'm out.